Matt and Rebecca. Hey, hey. how How's are you? Going? They're doctors and they're moving to Laurel, so they're gonna be a part of our community and our neighbors and our family. It's exciting. What do you got here? What's good? Well, the first thing that attracted us to Laurel, obviously, were the jobs. And then just the small community, the nice homey feel. We've lived in some bigger cities where you just really don't get to know people. You just kind of go about your business every day. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Y'all enjoy. We're looking forward to being plugged in and, and being able to get to know people. I'm glad we're finally looking at houses here. Yeah. When it comes down to it, we've always really wanted to live in a house that's older with a lot more character. We'd like to have a nice backyard, but we don't want something cookie cutter. We want something that's more of a story to it. This neighborhood is really good. It's so quiet. We want to stay under 200,000. We have mega student loans to pay off. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So this house has a formal living room in the front, a formal dining room, and they both are great. The real story starts in the kitchen. It's a story. Yeah. I'm gonna sit down on these stone countertops. <laughs> They're not That's hand painted. stone at all. Oh, yeah. Very creative. Very creative. I like the window, yep. also the backyard. Yep. And it looks like the floor might be rotting here. Well, there's a lot of room for improvement. So this yellow wall here, what if that went away? and that hallway wall became your kitchen wall. So it would make your kitchen 20% bigger. Then you could have custom cabinetry on that wall with your refrigerator built in, new cabinetry. We could keep, actually, these lowers are in good shape. You could just replace the doors, repaint them, new appliances, all new stone countertops, a stone tile floor. And then we could shift this opening over so that it's a little bigger. So you could put an island in the center of the opening with bar seating on that side and the living okay. room. And this kitchen would be cool. But what do you think about the den? Love the floor, love the yeah. fireplace. What are these <laughs> things on the crown molding? They look a little... Like a, a little... dairy cow's anatomy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, the beautiful oak floors feel original to the house because they are. And the fireplace is great. How could you take some of the character from the outside of the house and tie it in? I think a mantle. I would like to add a mantle that feels more historically appropriate for the house. But the bookcases are great. Mm -hmm. We could just put new cabinet doors. Mm -hmm. It's those little changes, trim. Trim makes all the difference in the world making a house feel more historically appropriate. All right. Yeah. Check this out, though. Ooh, well, it's don't cool, mind right? if I do. I love this. Imagine if this was a big wall of accordion glass doors. And then we built a big deck. Then you could have a deck that goes all the way out. It'd be beautiful. I would like to think of it as my little like party room where you could have get togethers. It feels like you're outside, but also inside. And I think it would be fun to play that up. Yeah. That would be beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they are stone. Oh, it's screwed down. All right. That was easy. Yeah, we'll start from down here. Feels good and rotten. Let's get this wall opened up and then we can push it down easily. Yep. The wall between the hallway and the kitchen, that's probably not code. Equally frustrating coming down, but we're actually making some progress and you can see what it's gonna look like. We'll have to push a beam up in the ceiling here to take what loads on top of this wall away. Okay. So I guess the deck is... Not happening today. Can you at least show me visually? Yeah. How here. deep the... I know it's 10 feet, but I just wanna look at it. There's nowhere out here where you can sit. That's my mark. That's your mark. The deck's not going to take away anything from the yard. It's only going to add to it and help it. And the rain has held us off from working on anything outside. Ta-da! So this is the deck. You good with that? Yep. No deck today. Ready? Here. Low beam! Aaron and I, we're semi against open floor plants. All right, that looked pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> Done. 
But if you're gonna have an open floor plan, have an open floor plan. Don't have this one little postage stamp hallway eating up half the kitchen. Like, Yeah, let's do it. If you're gonna go, go all in. If you're gonna be a bear, be a Kodiak. Once we got everything taken apart, there's still some load here and some where that wall used to be. Yeah. But the way everything was built, it's not as you see these much load as we Ceiling got. joists, they're tied together as they go across. Mm -hmm. So that's helping support. Cool. Today's the day the sliding glass doors are coming, the accordion doors are coming in, and it's gonna be awesome. So, those holes aren't catching that header. So we're gonna have to move this whole frame back a little bit. So we gotta shave bricks. Turns out we didn't cut our brick back enough, and so now we're gonna have to cut that back some more so that the door can actually fit back into the room a little bit more. All of the work that we did is level, plumb, and square. The slab has a little bit of a drop to it, though. It kind of does one of these numbers. A little bit of a hump in the middle. Yeah, we're good now. Welcome to the Kohler house. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, I did not expect that. I did not either. <laughs> like Grandma's? It is. Grandma's swing. Yeah. Aaron fixed that up. Well, we sanded it and put a good outdoor spar varnish on it so it should hold up to the weather a little bit longer now. We just put new chains on it, wrapped it with rope. You like it? Yes. Good. When we started, the house just felt cold. And I just wanted to find a way to give the house dimension and texture and make it feel warm. Give you functioning shutters, give you lights that feel more like lanterns, and a warmer, friendlier front door. Beautiful. Love the black iron rail across the top. This is amazing. It looks so cozy. Oh my gosh, it is the coziest house in the world inside. <laughs> I cannot wait for you to see. Can we go sit on the swing? Yes. Yeah. Thank Let's you. go. So what is the story on the swing? My grandma, she passed away about 10 years ago. My mom was gracious enough to give this to me and we've taken it with us. I love that. That's what makes a house a home. It's like the love that lives there. Yeah. Okay. I wanna go inside now. You're gonna wanna go inside. Okay. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> look at look at right just, here. Yeah, look. Just stand I and know. take all this in. This looks huge. It, it, is, it is huge. It does. Yeah. Oh you guys. I love so, it. I mean if you think about it, this kitchen had this hallway. Yeah, it was the hall here that made it so small. So we backed the fridge up, you know, took this wall down. You've got quartz countertops, super durable. They'll hold up to anything. But we wanted to have, like, your island be this luxury, almost piece of furniture in the mm -hmm. kitchen. So it's got a marble top and then the stained wood, which gives some warmth to the kitchen. And then the floors are, like, slate, but they're actually porcelain. They're more durable than slate. And um, this is actually a backsplash I'm gonna do in my own kitchen. It is just a handmade rustic tile. So I have to ask, there's a new door over here. Yes. What's I'm behind door number asked. three? So <laughs> we were gonna do this cased opening like right here. And so when we started popping off the trim, this closet was here. And so we have a pantry right off the kitchen. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. That is awesome. And it was just covered up. You guys did such a great job. 